Hello, humans of the world. I'm Marina with Startup Human Channel about reprogramming humans. And today I'm trying a new filter. And uh, we will be talking about how to change beliefs. So we already know that beliefs are just ideas that we find evidence for, but also they're dangerous when they're hidden, unconscious, and also limiting. So how do we change them? There are different ways to do it. And there are several ways to change them. I will tell you about the most popular one that's called table with its legs. So how to change beliefs? It's a million dollar question. And if everyone knew how to do it, probably everyone would be achieving their goals and also living fulfilling lives. It all starts with just doubting your belief and finding enough evidence to support your new belief, which is more empowering. I will walk you through some steps. So the first one is identify a limiting belief you would like to change. And uh, the whole world is divided into two categories of humans. First category, people who actually know their limiting beliefs. The second one, people who don't know. However, we all have limiting beliefs. If you fall into the first category that you already know your limiting beliefs, good for you, you have an advantage, you know what to change. So after you identify it, define it. And I'll give you a couple of examples. <laughs> I'm not good enough to be in a relationship. One, I'm a victim of outside circumstances. That's another one. Life is a constant struggle. So what do we do? We start doubting our belief. How so? Really easy. Ask yourself a question. When was the first time I had this belief? And it's interesting because maybe you got it from someone else. If someone repeated it many, many times in your life, called you names, you believed them. Or you created this belief yourself because it was an easy explanation for what was happening, right? But can this be untrue? Can that explanation that you borrowed from someone else or you created is not really valid? Um, it was just a shortcut or you're missing something, some, some other evidence, right? And other, other possible explanations. So now that you know your belief, original belief is not trustworthy, we move on to the next step. We create an alternative belief that is more empowering. And we just rewrite our old one in a positive way. So based on those three examples, the first one, when I'm not good enough to be in a relationship, we rewrite inter, I'm a unique and valuable person. I deserve to be in a relationship with a partner who appreciates me. Okay, the second one, but I'm a victim of outside circumstances, we rewrite inter, I am responsible for myself and I'm in control of my life. I can determine the circumstances, but I can determine my attitude toward them. The last one about life being a struggle. We rewrite into life is full of all kinds of experiences. Life is an adventure in which I'm learning to accept both ups and downs so that I can enjoy each day as a gift. I know you may think that, oh my God, this is so far from what uh, I believe and I actually feel right now, it's possible, but we need to make that happen. So the next step is uncover emotional benefits of all the new beliefs. So what it means is that sometimes when we live with our belief for too long, we get too accustomed to it, too comfortable, then we actually get some benefit out of it. For example, yeah, I would like to be a millionaire, but I don't want to work too hard. I'm really accustomed to um, kind of um, having this easy job and I don't really like, but um, at least I don't have to risk it all and you know, get up too early um, every day. So this is your emotional benefit 
for not being a millionaire. Or I don't, I do want to be in a relationship, but I'm comfortable being alone and not grooming myself, not looking good, not taking care of someone else. So this is your emotional benefit. And you need to decide what is more important to you. What are your priorities? Do you want the new belief? And it's actually uh, importance is really, really uh, outweighs the old one. Can you make that new benefit stronger? Or can you replace your old em emotional benefit with something else? For example, people who argue a lot and they get into fights easily, emotional benefit from doing so is actually getting adrenaline rush. So one of the solutions is actually get that adrenaline rush from somewhere else. For example, um, exercising. Uh, you know, working out hard, going for a run. Uh, that's where they get it while having this conversation in a quiet and peaceful manner. So you separate the two. Next step, find evidence to support your new belief and build it up. How to do it? Find examples of things that you did right, even briefly. For example, um, you want to have a good relationship, but uh, you already maybe had some examples of having really good dates. It just, they didn't grow into relationship, but you did that right. Or do you know people who are in the same situation or were in the same situation, but they're now succeeding? Uh, read more about them. This is your evidence that it's possible. If they did it, you can do it too. Remember a situation when you found a solution and acted on it uh, in a really good way. So if you did it once, you can do it again. And in general, list successful examples that you can do things differently and consistently if you want, if you put your mind to it. So think of it as a table, your belief, and you need at least three legs, three references, um, three pieces of evidence so that it actually stands, it's stable. And the more legs you have, the better. Now, what actions can you take to prove your new belief is true? And it depends on the person and depends on the belief, but I will give you a couple of examples that you can actually craft yours accordingly. So the first example about person not feeling good enough to be in a relationship what actions the person needs to take is basically something that makes him, him or her feel good about themselves, right? Feel proud, um, accomplishments or some hobbies that person really enjoys. Also getting encouragement externally from people who believe in you, right? People who support you, who give, give you some tips and work on your appearance and attitude and strength so that you are ready and you feel that you, you're in a good state of mind. Um, and also people from outside can say that, yes, you, you can do it now the way you want. The person about um, victim mentality, it's important to be honest with yourself. Inspect all these situations when you blame others. Uh, did you play any role in what happened? Because usually there is something we can do better and we should learn a lesson. How do things differently going forward? Not to get in the same situations and also develop new qualities. Say, if you are too trustworthy, create boundaries. I mean, be, be, be careful with people that you make your friends, right? Also, if you always late, be on time. If you promise but don't deliver finished projects, you need to kind of step it up and do things differently. And finally, a life is a struggle. Improve your communication style because we all have expectations, but different people have different expectations. So agree upon them in the beginning of your relationship or work projects, right? Because we have expectations and to not get disappointed, um, we also need to 
be easy on ourselves and others. Yes, things happen. Uh, we make mistakes. We're all humans. We are not perfect, okay? And um, it's just to be able to do our best uh, with the resources we have, right? And information we have at a certain time and just try again and again and again. It's not possible to do everything right the first time we do it. It takes time. So finally, the seventh step kind of summarizes all previous ones. And I think it's really important. Write down your new beliefs and read them aloud daily and support them with references you already found from your past and also actions that you're doing every day. And actually, when you read your new beliefs, put your best feelings into it. So feel good about it. Believe it. Because when you attach really good feeling to what you're doing and what you're saying, it's actually materializing. So you visualize things and you attract that. The law of attraction is happening. So now you know how to change beliefs. It does take time but it's all possible and uh, you can make impossible things possible. So I hope you, you will start acting and uh, pretty soon a lot of your dreams come true. Good luck.